Hello, Legion. It's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of The Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. We are headed back to Pleasant Valley. Not having lost as much condition as I lost last time we were on the way to Pleasant Valley. Having found slightly more head covering. Well, a lot more head covering. In a binary sense, we have head covering 1 as opposed to head covering 0. Which is pretty nice. So we're headed back that direction, and similar to last time, we're going to try and start a fire in the... actually identically the last time, but because our condition is not going to be as terrible, presumably, we'll have a little bit more maneuverability to pick up cattails and do other things that I would have normally done on a run like this. And this run so far, knock on wood, please everybody, right now, <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm not that superstitious, but it's fun. Um, there's some wood that I walked by. Uh, there's wood everywhere. Hopefully things will uh, continue to be a little bit more merciful this time. Hopefully you enjoyed that first episode. It was a little bit deja vu. I know there are probably pros and cons to the fact that we started in the exact same spot. I like it. I do. That is a really oddly colored rock. All right, frostbite risk is starting to get pretty high, but thankfully we are near our destination already. We've got lots of sticks. And I'm going to keep grabbing them because, as you know, you have to pick up every stick. You've simply, if you don't pick up any sticks at all, or if you don't pick up all the sticks, is that's really what it's about. You are the newbiest of noobs in the history of newbiedom. Oh, I, <laughs> I had a discussion with someone in the comments a few days ago. For you guys, anyway, a few days ago. For me, it was yesterday about that particular uh, line. And no, you're not dumb if you mishear it. No, it's funny, I say that because that line, it does, it, if you don't hear it perfectly, uh, it, it does sound like she's saying, I need a horse, which is what one person thought she was saying. And I, I pointed out the, the exact line, and the commenter then immediately rebuked themselves, and I was like, no, 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 that's, that's silly, you can, you can mishear things. But from a very personal standpoint, it's, it's interesting for me because I found out last year shortly before I started the recording of Against All Odds Season 4, that I actually, my hearing is fine. Um, I mean, it's not what it used to be, because I'm in my 30s and I listen to loud music all the time. Turn your radios down, kids. But, or iPods or, or MP3 players. or I, I, don't, I can't even... I'm not as old as I'm making myself sound right now, but good lord. I don't know what people listen to music to primarily. On, I know we got Spotify and... And then we have um, Pandora and things like that. But as far as like the devices that people use, I mean, it's just your phones. Turn your phones down. It's not like I don't have music on my own phone. Don't know why I blanked on that. But anyway, um, I found out last year that, interestingly enough, I have, when you look at how quickly, oh, hey, a recycled can and a cooking pot. Yeah, this is definitely a nicer start. I definitely keyed the code in before I started this. So it's the exact same code. But I have, relative to my level of intelligence, in a general sense, my audio processing, again, not my hearing, but my audio processing is lower in efficiency than you would expect relative to my intelligence. And like, it's, it's a lot lower. And I've always wondered why I have to, why I feel like I'm, you know, I have to pay very, very close attention to people in conversation. And then when I found that out, I was like, oh, that explains a lot. Very nice, a ragged plain shirt. Let's go ahead and... It's not in good condition, but hey, that's a start. We are still losing condition though because we are not warm enough. So I need to find 
Some mittens would be nice. I could definitely rest right now and I could warm up and uh, then go out and start that fire. I'll probably do that in just a second. But yeah, interestingly enough, I uh, found out that my, my just audio processing is considerably slower uh, than it should be, which means that I just take an extra second to process whatever I'm hearing. So you can have good ears and you can have a good brain and you can genuinely just not necessarily hear something as well as you should for one reason or another. It happens to the best of us. All right, so this warmth bonus will heal us for a little while. We could rest for... I want to give myself enough uh, filling to be able to do this. Wow, we actually are encumbered right now, too. We've picked up enough stuff. It's the rocks and the sticks, but that's what I'm talking about with, with the rocks. All right. I'm hoping we don't wake up to a blizzard. It is still pretty early morning. It's not noon yet, so that's helpful. Let's sleep for four hours. We will completely heal back up in terms of our hypothermia and frostbite risk, hopefully. And if we have to start a fire outside to continue to stay warm, we'll do that. But... Okay. Yep, I had a feeling that was going to be the first thing I heard. So since that's the sound we're hearing, Pleasant Valley's gonna Pleasant Valley. That's the one area where we did get lucky in the last episode. Man, all I can think about is food. Right, so it's gonna take 30 minutes to break this down. I don't know that I have 30 minutes given how warm I am right now. One thing I could do, I didn't find the sewing kit in that. Oh, yes, I did. Okay, I do have a sewing kit. Very nice. Let's attempt a repair on, I don't have enough cloth. Damn it. All right, that was my one piece of cloth. Okay. Well, now I just need to sleep until this Pleasant Valley blizzard blows over. Favorite zone ever. Love it. Can't get enough of it. Want to retire here one day. Best thing ever. Alright, so this is going to... Again, consecutive hours of rest are really what you need. Is it still going or is it blowing over? I think it just blew over. Okay, we're going to take advantage of this moment. Oh, wait, no. Hang on. I feel like it's blowing over. It's not blowing over. Okay. Uh, let's go back inside. I hate Pleasant Valley. Enough with the sarcasm. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it with a passion. It's, it's a miserable, miserable place. Can't wait to be gone. Haven't been here... Oh, screw you. Who are you to say how tired I am? I know how tired I am. Oh, I could eat a horse. Okay, so it does sound like it's gotten better now. All right, let's sort by weight here. Oh, wow. That's a lot of sticks. It's really the sticks that I need to drop. I can drop 20 of them and still have plenty. There we go. All right. We are warm enough. It's probably still going to be crappy-ish out here. Yeah, it is. But it's not a blizzard anymore, so we can officially move around without fearing for our lives to quite the same extent. And there is a location where we can get some rest nearby. And we have enough daylight, potentially, to get to it. Weather's still crappy, though. Gonna keep my eye out for any furry woodland friends that might decide to pay me a visit. Turn the volume up on my computer slightly, because I can't hear. <laughs> Just 
Really? 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 Okay. We don't have the condition to survive a wolf attack right now, so... I'm going right back where I started. He is right behind me. That was our moment. It's going to get colder now. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't check the file cabinet. Really? Okay, well. At least those of you that were about to yell at me about not looking there will no longer have that to yell at me about. And there was nothing in it. Ha! In your face. I showed you. I don't know what I showed you. but All right, we don't have a pry bar, so we can't get into any of these lock lockers. That's unfortunate. Didn't even comment on that, but that's it's definitely a sad thing. All right, well, um, thankfully we still have cattails because I was able to grab more. God, that makes me mad. That's the first time in taking this route in multiple attempts that a wolf has been there. I don't know the wolf patrol routes very well back here. I really don't. So, okay, well, let's sleep for just an hour. I don't want to sleep for too long. Because I don't want to run out of food again. What I could do is light a fire outside and get some more water and warm up that way. I would get hungry. That's the problem with that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to we're going to get some more water because I feel like I might get stuck here. And if I do, Yeah, we can light the book on fire. That'll definitely give us a fire closer to the first go, maybe. Shouldn't say that, Hadrian. Shouldn't say that. Right after I say that, I'm not superstitious. Shouldn't jinx it. Okay. Oh, this interface. I've done that so many times in this one series. I really, I don't know, I'm, I'm figuring out how I feel about this new interface, and so far, that misclick, I don't know why I keep doing it, but it's, uh... rather annoying. Okay. We have 2 hours 33 minutes on the current fire. And I do have a cooking pot, which I can use to great effect, so... Let's go ahead and put that down. All right, so it's going to take one hour to melt that much water. I guess I just need to do the one, don't I? Let's do that. Let's just pick that up. It's got three hours on it. We're gonna... Pass time until that's ready. I would eat anything right now. I know. Okay, well at the very least, hanging out here has warmed us up. And we're going to have a torch, too. Now, I have a flare. I could have technically used that to scare the wolf, but, I mean, this is... the We're at the start of a new run. We're not at, uh... We're not at the point of needing to scare wolves... ...with flares yet. Come on. All right. 
We got us a birch sapling. There was only one, but that's not necessarily unusual. I'm not going to go over any blind hills this time. I'm just going to go around blind corners. Thankfully, the torch does not block as much of the screen as the lantern does. And yes, the torch does keep us a little bit warmer. Which we can all appreciate right now. That's a deer. And that's a hunting blind. You know what? I'm feeling frisky. The deer indicates a general lack of predators in the immediate vicinity. Predators except for me. So I'm going to take a moment to see what might be in this hunting blind. A book, hunting knife, a broken arrow, and nothing else. All right. I do hear a wolf nearby, so joking aside, I'm still going to keep a lookout. And like I said, there is a location that we're coming up on. It could afford us the opportunity to rest. We didn't get there because we went a different direction. We kind of went around to the left, but now that I'm going around to the right, there is a location... That we are okay. I know where I am. There's a location we're generally heading toward. Actually, hang on. Let's make sure I stay above starving. Here go my last two cattails. I have to be careful about sprinting for this very reason because I'm going to burn my calories. But I also have to sprint to stay warm. Well, no. <laughs> We've had this discussion in the comments too. Sprinting doesn't keep you warm necessarily the way that you might expect, but that's for good reasons. What I meant, I'm just looking for wolves. What I meant was that if I sprint, I will get to shelter sooner. But yeah, the reason that sprinting doesn't make you warmer in the game. Got a flare there, frozen corpse. The reason it does not is that when you sprint, you sweat. And when it's cold outside and you sweat, sweat freezes. Or at least the components of the sweat that are water <laughs> freeze. Okay, there's a wolf. Time to do some Skyrimming. Because I just, I, I've tangled with too many wolves in this episode already, and I just don't want to deal with it. There is a rope that I can climb down right there, and then we will be near the location that I've been mentioning. Let me not take another nasty fall, though. Okay, this isn't as Skyrim-y as I thought it was. This is a, this is a dual climbing point, so we climb down one rope and then climb down another. Come on, get me off the slope, thank you. Oh no! Oh no! I had no idea it was that close! Well, we now have a permanent... <sighs> Damn it! I had no idea my frostbite risk was already that high. It's because I don't have the mittens on that I got in the last run that I don't have in this run. Well, my hands are frostbitten. Wow. So we now have less condition. It's the first time I've ever gotten frostbite in a long dark. Ever. I didn't even know I had frostbite risk yet. I thought I'd warmed up by the fire. But I just, I guess we're just that cold right now? No, it's not. Insanely cold. I'm surprised. There's the shelter. I, I'm, I'm a little, oh, I mean, it's, it's fine. It's against all odds. I'll, I'll roll with it. But that is 
really, that was fast. Something feels a little bit off about that. I'll have to go back and watch later and, and be like, what did I, what did I overlook? What did I miss? Because I was by a hot fire. I mean, did, did my previous frostbite risk not wear off completely? Was that it? Maybe that was it. Yeah, I had no idea I even had frostbite risk, or I might have been a little bit more careful about sprinting. Oh, we are still not warm enough in here. Really? All right, well. At least we have a place to sleep through the rest of the night. We have some curtains we can tear down when it's time. Get some more cloth with which to repair our stuff. But how warm is it right now? 32? Yeah, we're fine. It's just below freezing. It's a shame we didn't get those gloves. So we are frostbitten. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Now, hang on, let me check my water. Oh, yeah, I'm fine on water. I am going to run out of food. So we're going to recover some condition and then lose some. Because we're going to wake up hungry. First time ever getting frostbite. Hey, you know what that is? Where can I find something to eat? You know what? No. Screw it. Yes, I'm starving. We're going to stay in the cabin. We're not going to recover condition because we're starving, but... I mean, one thing I could do is I could start a fire. And I could make some reishi tea. That would offset it. By, like, a bit. and I could recover some condition. At least we got a nice view of the Aurora, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. How many sticks have I picked up? Enough. Yeah, that's right, I still have some from before. Okay. All right, we're going to light that book on fire because I don't want to waste any matches. I need an 80% start chance, please. Come on, little fire. Come on. Yeah, I didn't even know that I had frostbite risk. Might have handled that somewhat differently, but I thought the fire cured it. I wonder if that's... I mean, we, we can all go back and analyze it together. Like, I'm, I'm not saying it was a bug. I'm just curious as to how it happened because it really... We were by a hot fire for a while. Maybe the fire wasn't that hot. I don't know. Maybe frostbite risk takes a while to go away. Takes more time than I give it credit for, perhaps. Alright, I need this fire to be hot enough, please. Because I can't stay out here and cook. Oh no. I'm going to have to add all these sticks. There we go. Alright, that's better. Let's now go ahead... Oh, hang on. I've got to prepare the reishi mushrooms. 15 minutes. How long do we have on the fire? That's fine. I'm going to prepare both of them, so that's 30 minutes. But I will make this tea. If the wind picks up, we're in trouble. But, all right, let's go ahead and cook. Drink. All right, got some calories. Got some caloric value in us. Let me do that one more time. It is nice that we have the Aurora to help us out. And of course, we're drinking a warm beverage, so that helps our freezingness. Except for our frostbitten hands, which are permanently damaged for all time.
All right. I'm going to go ahead and drink that. Okay, and with that being done... Yeah, the campfire's there. Believe me, I want to take advantage of it, but we're actually falling below freezing again. I had to put all that fuel on the fire just to get it hot enough. I'm going to step inside. In the beginning of the next one, I am going to get some rest for however much that I'll be able to get with the, you know, the fact that I'm about to start starving and losing condition again. Then we're going to head for the uh, farmhouse and start looking for stuff with hopefully more condition than, uh, <laughs> than we had when we got there last time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along. New episodes are coming out every other day at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Comments are always welcome. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.